Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is tour time with Tyler and welcome to Oak Creek at Sedona Ranch. Let's check out this model. But before we do, again, right here is the link to my free mobile app. Go ahead and download it. Only works on phone and you will get home sent directly to you before sites like uh, Zillow and Realtor.com straight from the MLS. Let's get into this one. So we are up in the north east portion of the valley so i don't want to back up too much because the sun flare this one right here this is a century communities home this is again oak creek this is the 1735 model as you can guess 1735 square feet two story three bedroom two and a half bath two car garage and it starts at 326,990. now i'm gonna jump inside real quick because the trash truck is coming around Again, do me that huge favor and hit the like button. It really helps the channel out. Make sure to subscribe. Let's get into this one. So, fun fact about this community. They only have the models left. So, there are three models here that are modeled. And that is all they have left. I don't know what they're going to price it at. Again, this one starts at $326,990 figure somewhere in the mid fours so this could be yours i asked are they going to leave it furnished they don't even know that right now the builders with how crazy everything's going from last year they're not really speaking with the sales associates they think that this will be sold furnished so if you want a furnished home you could potentially have this again if you are thinking about buying a new home want to buy a new home if you go into the sales office and speak with the associates or if you fill out information online, the sales associates do not represent you. They actually represent the builder. They have their fiduciary responsibility to the builder. So if you want representation, if you want someone to look out for you, make sure to call a realtor. Again, fun fact, as the buyer, the builder pays the realtor commission, not you. So all my info is down in the description below. I do like this carpet nice loft so you know normally you can pick and choose if you want an extra bedroom or whatnot not in this case not in this community this is done i'm gonna spin around i actually really like this carpet i'm gonna go a little bit more into detail on like what they did in this one just because this is all they have left you're not gonna pick options you're not gonna pick upgrades what you see is what you get so first bedroom Fun colors. Full size bed, two nightstands. It's actually a really nice size bedroom because you have the bump out right here. And then I'm gonna back up really quickly. You even have like this little space. So I guess if you wanted to put like a thin dresser or something right here, you could. I'll get to the closet here in just a second, but nice bedroom. They need the tree or they need like a seat. I would put a desk right in front of the window because this is actually really, really nice how you have that extra, let's call it five or six square feet. And even then there's an extra almost foot on this side, foot on that side. Nice size room. Coming on out, let's check out that closet. So we do have a walk-in closet. Again, Century Communities Home. Wow. Whoa. Huge closet. Maybe five feet by seven feet. Single barn rod or single barn shelf. If you need to add more space, you can move. I would move this one up. Add a second one. Leave the one hanging long just in case you have any like gowns or garment bags or anything like that. This hallway is really wide. Coming into the first bathroom upstairs, nice. You can see it's just a bit wider than standard just because where they had to bump it out for the tub. Upgraded flooring, upgraded countertops for sure. I actually really like these. Let's see, just the bumpers and they did do soft closed drawers. So upgraded cabinets, they are the lower height countertops. They did the backsplash. They even are giving, it's so hard to find this nowadays, 
a medicine cabinet. I know more and more builders are getting away from it. I know when I read everyone's comments, it's about 50-50 of people who want it. Usually what I see, people want in the master, not necessarily in the secondary bathrooms. You have your toilet, tub shower combo. Now this is a fiberglass composite material. There's your shower head, your valve, your tub filler. I love this insert because it has all the soap niches. Again, a lot of people like these tub showers, the fiberglass composite in the secondary bathrooms because there's no grout lines. So it's actually easier to clean. Usually you have the option to do tile if you want to. Not this case since this is ready to be done. Full size bed, two nightstands. Again, you have another bump out. You can see right there. It's not quite a foot on this one. It's maybe 10 inches. You have all of that space over there. Really nice size bedroom. I love all of the wakeboarding stuff. We come on over here. Again, you could put a desk in here. Walk-in closet over there. And your nightstand, very beachy. Wakeboarding drive. <laughs> I know a lot of people watch the channel just to see ideas on what they could do remodeling or even just how to spruce up their home. Oh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. So walk-in closet right here. Probably a little over four by seven if I had to guess. Maybe four and a half by six and a half. But nice house so far. We've only seen the first two bedrooms in the bathroom. So here we have our loft. I do believe on this model, you could have optioned this as a bedroom now on this one, since this is literally the last one left. This is how it's gonna be done. And potentially with all of the furniture, right there we have our master suite. Before we get there, down this little hall, we have our laundry room and a lot of upgrades they did in here. They did the upper cabinets, they did the folding area. A lot of times when you buy models, you even get the washer and dryer included, which is awesome. You know, that can add up. They did the lowers over here and they did a massive sink. Pretty nice. I would die if this was my laundry room. My laundry room's like a quarter of this size. Right here, coming out, we have our linen closet. While I'm here really quickly, I've had people ask me, why are all of these rooms having this vent right here? It's actually a jump vent so that when there's difference in pressure, when the air kicks on, it doesn't slam the doors. So a little fun fact, that's what those guys are here. Some builders have them, some builders don't. Some builders put them in different places, like in the actual ceiling, not right above the door and into the master suite. Two nice size windows, king size bed, two nightstands. Again, we need our tree or a chair. I would put one of those like love seats right there. Little reading nook, little lounge nook, but nice size bedroom. They even did the can lighting option in here. So one, two, they give you the fan or not the fan. They'll give you a pre-wire cap normally. You can add a fan. There's the third and the other one is right above me. So you have four can lights and apparently someone at my door right now too. Coming on into the bathroom. So I like this layout. So they have a couple different options. I'll go over to the little schematic. So this is option, I guess it would be A, where you have separate vanities. I love this. So this one is slightly larger. I love the picture frame mirror. They have the medicine cabinet. They did the small backsplash. You have the countertops, same cabinetry. So when you order it, whatever you pick in the kitchen, they put throughout the house. Spinning real quick, 180 degrees. You have your toilet area, your towel bar. It's so funny how they put them so far away. And we have our second vanity. So just a bit smaller than the last one. I'm gonna show you really quickly what it could have looked like. So ours looks like this. You could have optioned this. So basically what would have happened is you'd have vanity here, vanity here, and then tub, shower, separate tub, separate shower there. But I do 
like the luxury shower. They have a light in there. It's probably either burned out or it's just off. They leave the lights on the models all day long. They give you the bench. There's your valve and your shower head. I actually really like that they didn't extend the wall all the way over here, that they actually put more glass. It just makes it feel even bigger. There's even a window in there. And then again, there is a light above it. It's just off. Right here, we have our walk-in closet. So if you were to option it as the other way with the vanities together, the walk-in closet would be a little bit bigger. Not a ton, but maybe two feet wider right here. Double bar and shelf all the way around. It's actually a really nice size closet. And then coming on out, let's go ahead and check out that downstairs. Now they do not know when these are going to go on sale. If you're interested in this, if you're interested in a model, let me know, we can get you on the list and hopefully try to win it out. I don't know if they're gonna be doing bidding. I don't know if they're gonna be doing first come first serve, lottery. Every builder right now is different. And honestly, every builder in different communities is doing things differently. It's kind of hard to keep up with everything. Love all the windows. I love this drop chandelier. Again, do me that favor and hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe. Again, if you have any other questions, please give me a call. All my info down below. Powder room, pedestal sink. I don't know if that tile is coming out. At least on my screen, it looks more triangular. It's all these circles. And then spinning back out. Right here, we have our two car garage. And what's cool about here is this one, you get the uh, mud room. So they're not gonna give you any of these built-ins. They do usually have options for it. A lot of people do it after. But one of the things about right here, and I do believe this is one of the options. Sorry, no, what you could have done is you could have optioned for a bedroom and then you get an extra shower, so a full bath instead of a half bath. It would eat up the, um, the laundry, not the laundry, excuse me, the mud room right here. But this is nice having the den. I know a lot of people, again, are working from home, especially after everything last year. Let me know, would you rather have bedroom four and bathroom three, or would you rather have the den? It's actually a really big room. Coming on out and back around. So again, right past the front door, coming in one, two, three, four, five, the slider, six. There's a lot of glass in this home. I'm gonna give you that sneak peek real quick. Right here we have coat closet in huge, wow. It's like three feet wide by like four feet deep. It's a really big coat closet. I wasn't expecting that. And then they put a good amount of options in here. Again, the flooring is an option. That slider I'm guessing is an option. We'll get to the kitchen here in a second. Just wanna show you the family room area. So they did the fireplace in this one and a gas fireplace at that. You don't see that as often. They did the mantle, nice. It's kind of funny that you have all of your pre-wires for your TV over there, especially when, I don't know. I wonder if there's actually pre-wires behind the TV. It's just funny seeing it way over here. It's nice. It's a little bit tighter. Again, the home is only 1,735 square feet, but it's open. It's nice size actually. I do like it. Again, just some of the houses that I show, they're just so big that you almost need like a carrier or like a messenger pigeon to get notes to the other side of the house. Right here we have, I was not expecting this big of pantry. So a walk-in pantry, very nice. Coming out back and around again, we have our living space. We have our dining space. And I wanna know, would you still do a dining table even with the island? Or I wonder, I personally, I would have done a bigger island and got rid of the dining space. What would you guys have done? Is the dining space that important to you? 
Now, I'll talk about these here in a second. I just wanna come over here, show you the backyard, show you again the dining space from a different angle. I do love these sliders. They did the pavers, they did the covered patio. Only thing you need out there is right there, they give you the pre-wire for a ceiling fan. Now it is a little bit windy out. With the backyard, expect to pay anywhere between thirteen dollars and $15,000 for a backyard out here. Now it's your responsibility to finish it. Everything will be dirt. You get the pavers, you get the patio, they'll give you that, but everything else you see is dirt. Again, if you're gonna put a pool spa heater, expect to pay $45,000 really minimum before any landscaping. Just so, when you buy new, just remember backyard is dirt. They did the overhang, really nice island. But really quickly, that we'll come this way and work our way back around. They did the extended cabinets. You can see where it bumps out or bumps in. This is all an option. They did the backsplash, huge window. But coming out over here. One thing I just wanna let you know, and I've had other buyers tell me about this. So full depth cabinets, half depth. You have to be careful because a lot of people will get these and then they expect to put like, you know, Thanksgiving uh, dishes, all of those bigger platters. They may not fit under there. So a little fun fact, the idea the 42 inch uppers, you have your lowers, you have your oven, five burner cooktop. I do like this backsplash, it's kind of cool. Microwave, and then I always like to check, it does vent outside. There is a lot of cabinet space in here. Really quickly, wall right, right here, you have your overhang. You could probably fit four bar stools at this. It would be tight. Get more cabinetry. With this one, you'll get the fridge. Usually you do not get the fridge in these homes. Now, I'm gonna be honest. This is a little tight right here. Hmm. Just because they couldn't push the island out anymore, it would just eat up too much of that living space. But it is a little on the narrow side. It's probably not too bad, but since the fridge is right here, if you're washing dishes, you're gonna have to probably step aside so someone can get in there. Right here, we have our dishwasher, more storage, and then a massive undermounted sink. I like this. Right here is our view. So you can talk to everyone at the dining room and in the living room. All in all, it's pretty nice. Again, especially these ones started at $326,990. Now I don't know what this one will be. Figure around $450 is what I'm guessing. But you get everything. You get the backyard, you get the furniture. It's gonna be completely done. Let me know, I'm curious to hear, do you think that's worth it for everything? All these options, all the upgrades, including the furniture? It is nice, you literally have to bring your pillow and toothbrush and you're done. Again, if you have any questions about this one, any other one, new home, resale, anything in between, give me a call. All my info is down in the description below. Would love to help you out in any way possible. Let me know what you think about this house. Leave a comment down below. Again, do me that huge favor, hit the like button, make sure to subscribe, and as always, thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.